So I was playing this game uh, some 45 odd minutes back, and I was playing a similar rated player, I would say, close to 2000. And my opponent had got white pieces here and starts off at e4. I respond with c6. The natural way I always respond is c6, d5 with black. Opponent goes with f4, uh, and I went with d5, of course. Now, opponent can advance the pawn, can take as well, can develop the knight as well. Uh, lots of options here, but Open decides to take. I take back. Uh, and now the thing is that I have uh, got the majority of center for now. Open is not controlling the central squares, especially the light squares. Uh, also, once I place my bishop out, uh, I should just play e6 and get my dark square bishop out active as well. Uh, the king's file is already open, so this has to be somewhere better for black. Uh, I want to turn the engine evaluation as well so uh, let me do that for you so yes as i said 0. 0.5 in favor, favor of black already now open goes for d4 uh i play bishop to f5 first as i said my idea was to play e6 next uh open goes with knight to f3 uh i play e6 uh standard move so far now bishop to d3 in this position i was wondering uh, that should i take the bishop should i develop uh, but if I let the opponent take, uh, yes, our pawn structure will be symmetrical. Uh, but then this file is opened up and my king is encastled. So I don't want to go into that line. So I uh, instead took on the bishop myself. After opponent takes, I here go with knight to c6 first, which also attacks the central pawn, uh, blocks queen from giving a check. Uh, so it's a development move. In this position, open plays c4, trying to be aggressive. Uh, his idea is basically to take the center pawn again, and I can take back with the queen, maybe. Uh, that is a reputation that we can walk into. Uh, but here, I decided to take off the pawn uh, any which ways, because queen will take, take it back. And now this position is completely, uh, to begin with, in slight, very much in favor of black, 1.4, because I can simply dull up, uh, put my bishop out, castle, and proceed with this. Uh, the only threat as of now is open can quickly castle and I still need a couple of moves to castle. That's the only problem for now. Now I went with knight to f6 first. Engine was recommending couple of moves. First is b4, uh, bishop to b4 or knight to f6. Also I saw in between when it was loading right now. Uh, maybe that bishop to b4 is much stronger but i went with knight to f6 my idea was to control the center square with my knight uh opponent now castles uh, so i have to prepare castle uh, but i first thought let me attack the queen so rook comes to c8 uh with a threat of discover attack on the queen sometime later uh sorry to interrupt here but if you are liking this video so far and it has engaged you please do subscribe to the channel as well that helps me promote these videos better and continue this work from here on as well. Let's continue with the game. Uh, here open place a knight to c3. And now my question was, can I take this? Now, if I take, uh, the next thing can be, what if opponent takes? Uh, then I can, of course, take the queen. So queen has to be moved. If queen suddenly moves, uh, what's the benefit? Can I just take the knight as well? But it's a check, so I cannot take. I have to come back. And suddenly the central file is opened up, which can be exploited by the opponent as well by putting the rook here. So I didn't want to go into this line. So instead in the game, uh, after knight comes out, I played a6 first, uh, making sure that my pawn a is not weak. Once I move the knight, there's no threats of eventually the pawn going away. Uh, also, this prevents the opponent's knight coming from b to b5, uh, which can be problematic eventually. Uh, so don't want opens knight to come closer. Here I play, uh, open place bishop to e3. Uh, and now I get with knight to d5, asking a knight trade. Open does take. Now again, the question is with which you should take, a uh, pawn or the queen. If I take with the queen, it's a queen trade that might happen. Uh, and am I looking for a queen trade is the question. Uh, the problem with this is that once this is done and I take back, this file is opened up. Uh, also, I need a couple of moves to castle. Opponent can hop in with the knight also, can get the rook aligned as well. And the center pawns, uh, once 
if the night comes and i take the center pawn becomes connected as well so that can be troublesome at the end so i thought okay let me instead take with the pawn here which attacks the queen as well and this way our pawn structure will be symmetrical for a good end game as well so i will not have a disadvantage for sure so this was more of a calculated risk than i took you can say uh, it was a choice that i want to have a symmetrical pawn structure rather than giving the opponent a connected pawns in the center now queen goes back to e2 uh, here i put my bishop on to e7 of course because otherwise bishop can go anywhere and it's discovered check so i just put my bishop first opponent now comes with knight to g5 again in this moment i had a choice to take this knight with the bishop but then the f file also gets opened up and that can be nasty because eventually i have to cast on the king side the rooks can be lined up the queen is also around so can be troublesome so i thought okay let me first castle here which again was kind of an engine choice as well if you saw the evaluation change uh, queen to d7 is more stronger as we go into more depth of stockfish but i went with castling here uh, and now open place queen to h5 threatening checkmate uh, and point is whenever you play h6 when the bishop dark square bishop is there it can always take the pawn for a sacrifice i don't want that line as well so i didn't want to play pawn forward rather i took the knight here open takes back and now the only threat is this pawn is, cannot do me much problems and i want was trying to explore which is a better option for my queen out of d6 uh, or b6 but then i thought okay uh, what advantage with d6 is that it can come in between here as well to maybe g6 and we can trade off the queens too uh and i have felt comfortable in this position because my knight is attacking the central pawn uh my rook is uh, completely defending the knight rook and pawn i can centralize the other rook as well it's a good position to go into an end game so i went with queen to d6 instead uh open plays a rook to e1 uh, trying to centralize the other rook as well here i offered a queen exchange which my opponent of course denies and goes to queen f3 the problem is if opponent takes i can simply take back with the h pawn and my structure is solid my opponent was willing to attack so when the when you are trying to attack it's thumb rule you should always keep the pieces on the board when you trade off pieces you are not going to have a good attack and now uh, here after the queen moved i thought okay let me centralize my rook that's what i did but here opponent takes the pawn and I suddenly thought okay am i pawn down now where i was willing to go for an end game with equal pawns now i am pawn down how do i get back the extra pawn and with that reminded me that the central pawn is uh, def defended only twice for now but can i somehow attack it once more maybe with the uh, the rook coming on to d8 now the computer's choice here is going with knight to b4 but that looks tricky to me a uh, queen can suddenly come back and defend everything there's no th uh, threats there after so i went with a uh, rook to d8 here now queen goes back and i take the center pawn opponent takes back with the bishop and i take with the rook now we have uh, equal pawns for now but the opponent can take b7 and to be honest here my hope was that let the opponent take this i'll go up double up the rooks and then maybe the opponent can take this pawn as well not and missing out that the rook the queen can take the queen uh, on to a6 as well that was one chance i was willing to take uh, for one pawn so uh, here i uh, and i did, i had to take the bishop no other option and now open plays h4 trying to be aggressive from this side as well maybe pushing my queen away but lose the pawn with the rook uh, and now open can take b7 but decides to play rook to e7 uh the idea is nice uh, because there are three attackers now uh, on f7 uh, the rook uh, queen and the rook but the problem is the order is not very helpful for the opponent so if if i just move away my queen and opponent decides to take here uh, this will not help because i i can give a check from here uh and that that completely helps my case uh, there's no threats at all otherwise if my queen goes to a wrong square then it can be problematic say i go over um, here and then it's problem problematic because say rook uh, it's a mate in 3 if you see 
queen takes is a check force move i have to take and then rook goes back the only way to defend is getting the rook back and the second rook comes and it's a checkmate so uh, we can land into a checkmate problem as well if i'm not careful with my queen uh, so instead in the game i first played b5 now which defends my pawn not giving a check from d6 uh, not going to d6 with the attack uh, for, to the opponent now opponent side steps with a queen to g3 which attacks my rook as well uh, here i swing over the rook to c4 now my idea was to double up on the c file uh, or maybe just get it on to c5 and take the pawn which is not defended anymore uh, here opponent plays queen to e3 so a lot of maneuvering going on uh, stockfish is confused at what these two guys are doing but the fact is we are playing this game not computers so there ha there will be mistakes and inaccuracies we are not grandmasters but we are trying to improve the position of my, of our pieces in a logical way now queen on to e3 is a nice move as well because the opponent is willing to trade of the rooks uh, it can be a checkmate as well if if i am not careful uh, so opponent is trying to do that and and uh, also defending the pawn simultaneously uh, here i went back with the rook uh, i thought okay just let me just come back once i am completely in a fine position uh, now opponent plays g4 and that was very bad g4 is is completely weakening of the king because there is there's no other pawn now they're defending it so i thought okay let me get the, with the rook to c2 a backwards now the idea is a it's defended uh, opponent will be thinking that i'll be taking the pawn so opponent will do something else open goes with uh, rook to e8 here now my idea is if the opponent even takes not a problem because i can take with the king it's not a checkmate if i take then it's a checkmate because queen takes it's a back rank these pawns are a problem but what happens here is i played h6 why so because if the opponent takes uh, that the pawn now i'm threatening mate in 3 i take with the queen only queen can come in between once and then the king will move and it's a checkmate open just move the king and it's checkmate thanks to the rook standing on c2 from b4 now if the open doesn't take here the pawn but instead takes the uh, uh, rook then i'm also okay because after king takes there's no check coming uh, because the square c5 is controlled by my rook already the queen can max reach a7 which is again not a check so no problems at all even if queen improves the position with that thought of giving a check i can simply move my king here and if a check comes in i just slide up and there's no threats now again the same problem is uh these pawns are too weak uh, for an end game as well if you see i will have three pawns for sure or two two at least to go ahead and convert this into a complete winning ga end game i can take as well so it's a devastating position for the opponent so uh, it ended up in 30 moves with a checkmate uh, on g2 and i hope it was instructive enough and you enjoyed watching it please do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing and please do subscribe to the channel as well and i shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always thanks for your time take care bye bye